G'day everyone, Hunt Together Australia here. Now today I just wanted to have a quick talk about fishing tackle boxes. Now whenever I go out fishing either, you know, in the past by myself I'd always have a big kit and what have, what have you and recently I just went out with some mates and they all had their big um, tackle boxes and yada yada and I just didn't have anything. Oh, seemingly anyway besides the rods in my hand and they were asking um, you know where's your stuff and I said well it's in my pocket and then I um, pulled this out and showed them so basically this is a you, know, you can see obviously from the size of my hand it's just a small kit then now this fits in my pocket so it'll fit in anyone's pocket now I actually got um, this container off eBay, I actually bought a whole heap of sinkers off eBay for bloody five bucks or some ridiculous cheap price. Um, so I just put the sinkers, I've got another larger tackle box where I keep everything, but this is just a smaller one that I take when I'm going out. So this is it. So all I do, now this isn't even complete. I normally have in this side here, um, a couple of soft plastics or a larger lure in there obviously like it's only yay big so obviously if you're going to go you know you need bigger lures you go on deep water fishing or whatever this isn't going to work this is just a pretty stock standard fishing um tackle box gear so all i do all i've got now i just keep one section here for larger hooks like this one for small, medium, now I've used a few out of this, so it's not even um, complete as it is. Uh, in here I just keep some spinners, and I've got three in there at the moment. So, now they fit nice in there. I could probably put another two in there if I wanted to, you could keep five. Three is generally enough, I, like I get snagged like everyone else, but I really need to keep you know that many uh, a few swivels different size sinkers nothing um, too major and like I said I'll keep a couple of squidgies in there the soft plastics and that's it so you can what I can do too if you not if you don't want to use your teeth for cutting your line as such um, toenail clippers you can just put those they just fit in one of these as well the whole thing clips up Nice and tight so you know doesn't all mix together. Put it in your back pocket. And that's it. So next time you go and buy a bloody massive tackle box and lug that around with you or strapped everywhere, think about just something like this. Obviously just more so for day trips than anything else. If you're going for days you might want to keep the big one in the car or in the campsite or whatever. But just for when you're going out. One of these little packs, keep everything in it, and you're all set. Now, like I said, I just got this off eBay. It just fits in your pocket. Now you can buy these just as they are. They're only about a bloody dollar seventy nine or something like that, so they're cheap as. Or like I did, the whole thing was full of sinkers, and I think the sinkers cost me seven bucks, and I got freaking one hundred and twenty sinkers or something and then so I just put them in the larger tackle box and put all my stuff in this one so there you go just a little tip just for fishing instead of lugging everything around just get something like this for yourself and you'll be set all right um, that's it check out the hunter gatherer Australia Facebook if you like we've got generally we um, put some stuff up on there as well all right thanks for watching cheers